Welcome to Helmut Fischer. Today we will show you how to quickly and easily put your DMP coating thickness instrument into operation. You have chosen a model of our measuring instrument family, DMP, and thus made a very good choice. The DMP devices come with numerous new features and offer state-of-the-art design. All aluminum housing with IP64 standard, soft bumper against drops, scratch resistant and chemical resistant Gorilla Glass, replaceable and quickly rechargeable battery or even the simplest data transfer via USB-C and for DMP30 and 40 models also conveniently via Bluetooth. All models have the same intuitive and easy to use user interface and are equipped with the Tactile Suite software. The Delta Scope version can be used to measure non-magnetizable coatings on magnetizable base materials such as zinc, chrome, lacquer, paint, on steel or iron. The Isoscope model enables measurements of electrically non-conductive coatings on non-magnetizable electrically conductive base materials. The Dual Scope instrument version can be used for all these applications. In this video we will explain the operation of our DMP devices using a Dual Scope as an example. All devices are available in the DMP 10 to 40 versions. Measuring has never been so easy. In just a few steps you get 100% safety. Now we will show you how to start up your device step by step and be ready to use right away. Open the equipment case and take out the device. Place the battery in the battery compartment of the device. The high quality and rechargeable lithium ion battery is quickly replaced and allows you to measure continuously for more than 24 hours, making it both economical and durable. In the next step, the probe is connected to the device. All DMP instruments are available with the new digital probes from Fischer which impress with their outstanding accuracy, highest repeatability, as well as smart and future-proof connectivity via USB-C interface and Bluetooth. Analog F-probes can also still be used with all DMP series instruments. Simply use the additionally available F-adapter and connect your analog F-probe to your instrument. This way, you can use the full performance of analog F-probes with your new DMP instrument and benefit from the largest probe portfolio on the market. After you have inserted the battery and connected the probe to the device, the measuring instrument can be switched on. To do this, press the multifunction button with the on-off symbol printed on it. The graphic display lights up. In order to be able to start measuring, the measuring task, the so-called batch, must first be created. Click on Batches and create a new batch. To calibrate your DMP instrument, create a new calibration. Place the probe on the uncoated original part. Repeat the measurement at least 5 times to obtain reliable results. After each measurement, lift the probe at least 3 cm from the test part before taking the next reading. After the last measurement, confirm the measurements with OK. Click on the up arrow key to set the target value of the calibration foil. Then place the calibration foil on the uncoated test part and perform at least 5 measurements again. Then confirm with 2 times OK. For a 2 point calibration, a second foil can be measured. For a 1 point calibration, this is not necessary, so that the calibration can be completed with the right arrow key. The measuring device is set and calibrated, so you can start taking measurements. You get the maximum security of your measuring results by our CalCheck function. This checks your currently used calibration quickly and at any time. If the instrument is connected to the tactile suite, the measured values are also displayed on the monitor and transmitted in real time. To do this, insert the Bluetooth dongle into your DMP device and connect it to the PC. The DMP device is immediately displayed in the tactile suite. The DMP models 30 and 40 have a measurement memory of 250,000 in 2,500 batches. In order to be able to separate your different measurements, it may be useful to name the batches according to your requirements. 
To do this, simply select the batch you want to edit in the Tactile Suite and under Batch Properties, click on the Edit icon in the upper right corner. A new window opens and the batch name can be customized. In the same window, you can also adjust the upper and lower tolerance limits. To do this, activate and enter the desired limits and click Save. The changes are passed onto the DMP device in real time. You can also change the tolerance limits directly on the measuring device. Tolerance limits are now entered on the device and in the tactile suite. Experience full support during measurement with the multi-sensory live feedback. LED lights, sound and in the instrument versions 30 and 40, also vibration, indicate whether measured values are within the tolerance. The red warnings are also reflected in the tactile suite. Of course, the live feedback can be switched on and off individually. Measured values can be deleted by clicking on the arrow key to the left. In addition, the measuring units can be changed. To do this, go to measuring units in the menu and change the unit as needed. In the menu, you can return to your batch and continue your measurements by pressing the back arrow key and clicking on the measure icon. Transferring the measured values from your DMP device to the tactile suite is very easy. If the device is already connected to the software during the measurement, the transfer takes place in real time. If the DMP device is connected to the software afterwards, the data is transmitted immediately after the device is recognized. Once the desired number of readings has been generated, the data can be transferred directly to Excel or other file formats, immediately or after measurement, simply and conveniently via USB-C and Bluetooth. You can even insert the data into an already created Excel document, as well as choose between simple and advanced mode, to gain even deeper insights into the acquired data. Transferring, evaluating and exporting, with the tactile suite as comfortable as never before. You also have the option of uploading your own images for the individual batches, such as product images or company logos. To do this, upload your desired image as shown and optionally write a comment to it. The image and comment will now be displayed in the menu of the corresponding batch. Now the report can already be created. Click on Create Report and select the desired storage location. In no time at all, a file is created that contains all the important information about your batch, also your individual picture and comment, information about the measuring device, as well as general settings are shown. Of course, the measured values are not missing and are displayed together with date and time of measurement. The robust and modern DMP instruments are the optimal solution for fast, simple and precise coating thickness measurements. In combination with the digital probes and the new, powerful tactile suite software, you are perfectly equipped for any measurement requirement. The menu navigation of the devices is intuitive and easy to understand. If you still have questions, you can find more information in our operating instructions or contact our application specialists. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and also follow us on LinkedIn.